Hi, this is Ambie from Board Game Blips, and this is my news update vlog thing for October 1st, 2020. Vlog thing. News update vlog thing. At the beginning of September, Crystal was a guest on Board Game the Game Show on YouTube. There was the winter view with Crystal. Uh, it's basically an interview, but then someone in the chat could win a prize. Uh, you can't win if you rewatch it now because it was live, but you can still see the interview. Also in September, Crystal and I were part of a playthrough of Last Light, which is a game designed by Roy Kennedy from the Dice Tower. Uh, Roy, Crystal, I, and Ketch were play played through it on Tabletop Simulator, and that is published on the Dice Tower's YouTube channel, so you can go check that out. The game isn't out yet, but this is a pre-version of it. It's not on Kickstarter yet. In September, I did a new 18xx with Ambi video. I'm finally doing specific game overviews for my videos, and so I started with 1830 as the first one, so that's over on the Dice Tower's YouTube channel. Also, if you're not following us on Twitch, you can go follow us there. We've been doing a bunch of random streams there. We also got into the new game Among Us, which is a video game, but it's like a social deduction game. So that's been really fun. We did a stream of that last weekend with the brothers Murph and Dave Luza on Luza Palooza. So we've been doing some more Twitch streaming. I'm planning on the next videos in my 18xx with Ambi series to be about specific games. Uh, first I'm starting with the games that I own since I can show them and then I might borrow some from friends for games that I don't own, but I'm slowly working on getting those ready. I got a couple of review copies of games in September. I got Disciple Detective, which is a deduction card game, kind of like Hanabi, but it can be cooperative or competitive and there's more deduction to it. Uh, I'll be reviewing that on the podcast later. And I also got Gridopolis, which is kind of like a three-dimensional checkers with a lot of toy factor, and I talked about it on the podcast in September. We also recently did a BGG Geek Store order, and we got Twin It Board Game Edition. It's a speed matching game. We haven't played it yet, but it has little cards with abstract art on it, and you're trying to match the different art on the cards but the board game edition has art based off of different board games. I got, also got these puzzle folders, which are double-sided papers mazes, and you have to fold them in order to get through the maze, because you can't like get through the maze on one side, you have to fold it and then like it goes and then unfold it and you're on the other side, and so you have to keep doing that. So I think five came in the package, so that's neat. And that's it for this month's news update vlog thing. Thanks for watching Board Game Blitz!